What's up, Internet? This is Cos from Minecraft Friends here doing another tutorial on Permissions X. This or Pex is the name of it. It's uh, it's very powerful and uh, it does a lot of things. A lot of people like to use it because it um, it just gives people access. If you want to like restrict people access to certain areas, you want to do ranks uh, where people have access to more stuff than lower ranks, whatever. It's very powerful. It does a lot of stuff. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. So let's open up uh, my permissions file. So I made it really basic here just to make the tutorial. There's a few things to note. First of all, if you don't know how to run a plugins, check this link out because uh, I, I go through a tutorial on how to run plugins and how to set up a server, all that stuff. So uh, the other thing is use Notepad++. I love it. It's, um, it breaks everything up color codes and it's free it's fantastic check it out I'll put a link in there also the biggest thing as with any plugin is formatting never use tabs it's always spaces even when you're uh, see if you take this here you you want to put in another line it's gonna put a tab there which is gonna screw up your whole thing for any plugin this is how it goes so if you do that you hit backspace hit tab four or uh, space four times so Keep that in mind. The other thing is this is case sensitive, so just use lowercase. It's easier to remember all that stuff. Um, the other thing, oh, there's some special characters, kind of like this uh, ampersand, number sign, uh, percent sign. If you have any of those, put single quotes around it so it will uh, distinguish it, not throw you any errors. The other thing is if you have all numbers, that's going to have to happen again. You're going to have to do single quotes around the whole thing as well, otherwise it's going to be messed up. All right, let's go through my file here so you know how to set it up. It's very basic. Uh, this is just to help you guys get started. You can do a lot more than this. I have three ranks on my server uh, with three different, or no, excuse me, three different ladder ranks on my server. It gets really complicated really fast. And uh, random tip: if you want to start making, getting donations on your server, give your donators uh, access to an area that nobody else has access to. I don't know. That's just that's free. That's a free tip. Good luck with that one. All right. So anyway, there's two different uh, sections in the permissions X or PEX file. Is uh, you got the users and you got the groups doesn't matter if they're first or second but they got to be together so I usually put the users first because it's just that's how it goes so users and then you, you indent and then you got the user name then you indent and then you got the group that they want to be a part of and then the permissions it pretty much follows the same format as anything else in here uh, yeah the the one thing all right so then you're going to have permission nodes from whatever plugin that you're going to have. So this is multiverse, and then this is uh, the permissions, and then uh, I got an essentials plugin for my testing here. If you want to give them to access to all of the commands for each plugin, which usually will be reserved for like an admin or, or something like that, or they have a sub node that they can have access to, uh, you would put the star here. It just means all for under that. Um, I did the permissions so that I can... Uh, modify this step through it it's a good way to test if you have this on your server so then you get into the groups the base one is trial these don't need to be in order but uh, I just did them because it's easier to notice uh, you want to set this one to default this means this is going to be the group that they set get set to when they first join your server and then you come down, you got your permissions. I just gave them one because that's how it goes. Now you got options. Now the options are interesting. This is where you can set up the rank ladder and then the rank number. So a higher number means they're lower rank. Uh, if you just have one rank ladder, you don't even need to do these if you're never going to use the promote or demote command. And then if you have multiple ranks, you just want to come down here. Remember, uh, remove the tabs. And then you do, uh, I think it's just ladder or rank ladder. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and then you just say the, the latter name, cops or whatever. So we'll just uh, leave that. Then uh, the next one up is member. Uh, here you can set the prefixes. This this way, this nothing special. All it does is it changes the color of the name, which is kind of nice. Um, if you come down here to the admin, I have a full prefix, 
where it changes the color of each one, it changes admin, and then it changes the color of the name, which F is just white. But anyway, permissions, so the members can warp to their home with this permission node, and then it inherits from the trial group. Inheritance is a big way to make this very easy for you. And then I did something kind of fun. You can you can set per world permissions for each group. Like on my server, I have a VIP group, and then they have creative permission on a VIP world. Um, so I'm just I'll show you how this works out. And then uh, rank 90. Next one is okay. This is the other thing I want to show you guys. Now, if you want to, it has a or Pex has a feature where you can negate. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, comment if I'm not pronouncing that right. Uh, you can negate the permission with the negative in front of the permission node. Now, the tricky thing with permissions or with PEX is that you have to do this before it specifies the entire permission, kind of like how I do it like this. If you do this before this, because it reads from top down, it's going to give all the permissions for this and it's going to ignore this one. So if you want to negate, you have to put it before the all. Uh, inherits member that's pretty much how it goes so let's let's hop into uh, Minecraft here and I'll show you how this works out in an everyday deal just give me a moment and here we go we're in our town and uh, I'll go through show you how these permissions work out um, should be pretty quick anyway if we want to so we're the trial rank as you can see uh, if I type something I'm white no prefix or anything like that so if I do Pex, um, user. All right, so when you're doing the in-game commands, it's going to be Pex, and then if you're going to operate on a group or a user, and then you do your name, and then you do group set um, member. Now, I would just do Pex promote and then username, um, which is this, but uh, you can't do that on yourself, uh, so it will give me an error. Let's go back. Group. User, cause for Christ, group, set, member. Now, you have a set and an add command. Set is going to wipe out all the other permissions. Uh, the add is helpful if you want to give them access to multiple groups. Like my VIP members have access to their normal groups as well as the VIP group. Uh, there's no restriction on how many groups they can be a part of. That's kind of how it goes. So, here we go. Member, and now uh, my name is changed, and I can do... I can do the set home and I can do warp home now. See, so it's going to teleport in five seconds. Now, the other thing, we're just going to move because, yeah, I know. The other thing that I did with member was uh, to the nether. So let's go to the nether right quick, as they say in the south. And. Uh, So now, now that we're on the world, I can't do the same thing. Doesn't don't have access. So let's go ahead and go back up, and we're gonna move ourselves up to moderator. Now that I have access to the moderator, I can do all the things I did before. I can give my member it has access to all the essential commands, so I can do. Uh, I can do the give myself a kit, which is something I set up earlier. I can um, then do uh, suicide, home, all these things. But remember, we set up the fly as the command that you can't do. So if I try to do fly, don't have access. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's all to go over. So have fun with it. It's a very powerful plugin. It can do a lot of things. I think it's fantastic. I've tried a cup I've tried one other one and it was kind of confusing. This one, I like it a lot. And you so yeah, that's it. Uh as always, this is Cos for Minecraft Friends and uh enjoy the game. Oh.